Hello and welcome! This is Zoo, and if you read the title, you know what's about to happen. Pretty exciting! Today we're going to be making our great journey to the rendezvous site. When I say great, you'll um, see it's not too exciting as the 2.71. It's not as long, but I'm kind of spoiling a little bit, so... Hey, let's go ahead and jump in, and if you like what you have seen so far, please like and subscribe. Hello, we are back. And as you can see, we're actually going to be taking our trip today. The rendezvous site. Finally. So exciting. Anyway, so me, Spruce, and our pups are going to go ahead and head out. So basically the um, general idea of this is to head to one of these grassy areas. As you can see, it's changed a lot on um, where exactly you're going. Originally the map was, again, probably about 10 or 12 times this small and there was like a little icon, tiny green circle, very small, on the 2.7 version of the game. And that's where you went, and that was it. It was very lengthy, very long. It's not as long to travel to, because there's rendezvous site, as you can see, pretty much everywhere. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So me and my pups are headed out. You can hear our little travel music there in the background. Let's see. Winnie's got his stick. There's Fawn, Moth, Fearless, Doom. Wait a minute. Am I missing someone? Oh no, there's Umbra and Scooter and... Oh boy, as from our previous episode, Dune is a little bit sick, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. As you can see, his health is really low, poor Dune. Anyway, I'm going to try to keep him alive and well. I may just pick him up and keep him in my mouth for now. Let's see, there are many options, but I think I'm gonna head to the closest one. I don't wanna take too long on the journey. Why, as I may have possibly taken longer, I, I do believe the quicker we can get to the journey site, the better. And this is simply because Doom is so sick. I hope y'all um, like and subscribe because Doom will definitely need the help. That's not an actual guarantee. Don't go off of that. Don't like because you think my pup is going to possibly survive. Are you kidding me? Moth, no. Every single, can they not stay in one place? All right, now I have to go find Moth before she gets herself killed. Come on, Moth. That's weird. She's like one of the most well-behaved pups so far. As you can see, the puppies can basically run around now. They're, they don't walk as slowly as they did 2.7. Oh, hair. I decide if I want to go get that or not. Probably not. We're fine. I'm going to get it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're all good. So let's go ahead and head on down. I have to admit, the detail they have put into this game is amazing. I see an eagle. Ooh. Come here, Doom. I don't want Doom to fall behind because that's very dangerous. They're 
cows seem to be developing too, but I could be wrong. I am... <gasps> moose calf. Remember that moose calf thing that we were talking about previously? This is basically an easy snack for my pups, so yeah, I am going to be getting it and probably taking a lot of damage in the process. Probably wasn't a smart idea considering I have pups. Alright. I'm gonna continue to head to the rocky site. As you can see, I now have a moose calf. So, snack for my puppies when we get there. Funny thing about this previously in the old old beta of this game. Not old game, but the beta itself. It was a patch release, but when you entered Senfu and unentered, the moose calf carcass would be invisible. Which was definitely interesting, but um... Too off. Just waiting for Spruce to bring Umbra so that we can choose this as our site. There we go. And I am gonna go ahead and choose the site. So I'm still not good at naming things. When I do a um, another series on this game again, but a harder difficulty up. I think I'm gonna have y'all name some of the dens and rendezvous sites as well. But right now I'm just going to... Yeah, that'll work. I'll, a tree site. Very plain, very simple. Here we go. So it says your summertime home. You've reached your rendezvous site when you'll spend the summer with your pups. And normally this is basically where the game would end in 2.7 and you would see all the pups howl and it would burst your eardrums and you'd have to go to the doctor. No, I'm joking, we're actually fine, but very loud and that's not where it ends this time. Now you get two loaf. So I now need to get them to about 20 pounds. This is a bit new and it allows you to spend more time with your pups and your mate before actually needing to do anything else. And that's, that's kind of a nice, nice feature. It is to be noted, originally I was against this because I thought it would be honestly very tedious. It would take too long to get the rendezvous site like previous version of the game, 2.7 again. And then by that time you'd be so fed up with it you just wanted to leave. But that's actually wrong. I was wrong. They actually made it so that it was a lot more closer and much more interesting. So I have to admit, I'm quite happy about this. So yeah, this is basically about time spending with your pups. So I can wolf again to send them into the tall grass. That's the point of the patches around the round of the site. Go hunting, or if predators approach, I can do that too. And I can move anytime I like. Scooter. We've talked about this, you don't wander too far away. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my puppies so they can eat some moose calf. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Fearless over there testing his boundaries. unusual distinct patterns and I have to admit not so bad considering where we came from I still have no clue how Dune is holding up if he'll ever recover I'm actually not sure what happens if they don't do they just stay st sick or do they die one day hmm. 
Anyway, something pretty exciting to note here is that eventually Wolf Quest 3 developing team right now is going to be working on a new DLC. <laughs> Whiny got tired and went to the grass. Um, called Tower Fall, which basically at that point your pups will then be teenagers learning to hunt things like um, elk and mule deer and basically it'll really put a test because then at this point you're gonna see how well your parenting is held out and if they decide to attack a grizzly and get themselves killed. Teenager wolves, just like today's world. Reckless and willing to die, but that's okay. We'll, um, we'll try and keep them safe. At this point in time, I'm probably going to try and get all my pups to about 20 pounds if I decide to move to a new rendezvous site, or if I find really anything extremely exciting or interesting, I will show y'all. But I'm gonna go ahead and try and complete the loaf of the rendezvous site so that we can get to endless summer. He's a bit lazy. He's a uh, sleeping in. I am back just to just to show this. It's adorable. He's gonna be late for his breakfast, but that's okay. All right, we are back. I forgot to mention something that you can do, and that's called pup cam. So if you wanted to follow your pups around, you can't necessarily control them, but you can keep an eye on them. For instance, this is Scooter, and I can switch again to Umbra, apparently. You can do this by pressing Shift F if you're on key. And you can, I believe, take a picture. I'm not sure, though. Let me, let me try that. Yeah, you can take a picture from this vantage point. I'm gonna take a beautiful picture of Umbra right now. Her eyes are missing. Oh, wait, no, they're just really dark. Anyway, so I can continue to cycle through each pup if I wanted to by pressing Shift F. I love that fluffy tail. Whiny's got his stick right now. He's out of the den, and Dune is uh, just chilling. Moth is eating a bit, and eventually it'll cycle back onto my wolf. But I think um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get some more sleep. Alright, that's a little weird. It is summertime, but it's currently snowing. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or... Trying to a bit of a problem with a grizzly. We seem to be fine now. So, um, we're back, and I found something a little bit weird. I found Mama's baby but she uh her baby's invisible which is as you can obviously tell a little bit weird let me just see if I can get closer look yeah see there is nothing here you don't see a baby hiding among the um, leaves and grass blades here but um now if I get a little closer good grief I'm taking a lot of damage Clearly there was something there though, which is a bit weird. I probably could have gone for a moose calf as I see that over there, but I'm going to go ahead and go with the invisible cow elk. Calf. England actually. Very confusing. Um, I'll go ahead head and head back to my pups and bring them this. It'll be a nice treat for them. So yeah, we have a moose calf carcass, a elk calf carcass, and a 
one carcass of a mule deer. So let's say mook, elk, sorry, moose, elk, and fawn. Hello everyone, we're back, and guess what? Dune has managed to heal. He's no longer sick. I guess all the subscribing and liking got it done, huh? <laughs> Hint. Um, anyway, I'm really happy to say that Dune has officially survived sickness. That means currently we have seven healthy, well-fed pups. that Dune managed to um, survive. Fawn? What was that? Okay. Um, Fawn was trying to face plant into the terrain for some reason. This is a good day. <sighs> Guys, I am back and check it out. Dune is now full health. Nothing some good rest and food can't handle. And we're almost 20 pounds, so I will be right back when I have completed that. I just wanted to show Dune's well-being. I feel quite pleased about that. Unbelievable. You will never believe what just happened. Me bragging about Dune being better. I guess this was kind of figured to happen. Moth has fallen ill. They may recover on their own or they may die. Spending time with them will improve their odds and you basically understand what's happening here because we've been through it. Doom. But, um... Yeah, okay. Well... We were so close, too. I don't necessarily know what's going to happen now, but... Let's hope the pup recovers soon. Why does this always happen? <laughs> I am um, right into a bit of a fight, obviously, with some of the stranger wolves. For once, the pups seem to be staying where they belong. Thank goodness. Oh, my temper. Umbra, seriously? It's always Umbra that seems to love coming out of the bushes and wandering off, as y'all have seen in the previous episodes. Alright, I will be back when we get them to 20 pounds. I keep saying that, but I, I, I maybe mean it this time? Not sure. Alright, I'm back, and yeah, I didn't keep my promise, but guess what? It is about that time when the mule deer fawns are officially out of hiding and are traveling in herds. So I can now do that. Instead of trying to find them in the bushes, though I will admit I will miss the hunt and snack. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Um, something I wanted to show y'all, we're just about to reach the 20 pound mark, but um, if you notice, for some strange reason, the um, fawn carcass is showing blue. Now, if you've watched some of my videos so far, you would know blue is... Fearless is getting a little bit far away, but blue is for grizzly, not, not fawns. Purple, a dark purple color. Like as you see here, it's the actual color of a fawn carcass and fawns, but this is blue for some reason. Don't really know where to put that, if that's a bug or if that's intentional, but... I think I'm going to... Where did Fearless? Oh, there he is. I think I'm gonna just leave that where it is. I just wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison real quick. If you notice, that's the dark blue and this is the purple. So there is a very clear defining difference between mule deer and grizzly bear. 
So why exactly the fallen deer carcass was listed as grizzly scent, I'm not entirely too sure. I'll leave that up to y'all's um, imagination. Okay, so I'm not insane. I mean, I might partially be, but uh, yeah, that carcass was clearly blue. In fact, I just found out that upon dying, a uh, fawn deer turns from purple to blue. And I don't know what is wrong with the stuttering on my screen right now. Okay, yeah, see, I was not completely insane. See how this calf is purple? I am going to kill it, so I might take it back to my pups, of course, and I want you to pay very close attention to what happens here. Falls and blue! That's a very weird. That's not supposed to happen. Hey, Wolf Quest, you may have missed this. I, I just want to make sure y'all um, knew that. It's F11 to submit a bug report. Um, I'm gonna do that. Alright! We have successfully completed our 20 pound quest at the Rendezvous site. So I've basically completed the episode of Slick Creek. So essentially the Endless Summer quest is basically you can keep playing here at the Rendezvous site in the Endless Summer mode. Hence the quest name Endless Summer. However, this is because the next thing that will be coming eventually is called Tower Fall. My uh, wolf would stop howling. Anyway, so, yeah, we have a new family snapshot. I can now technically play with my um, surviving pups in adult mode if I wanted to, but um, probably will stick with Star because she has the experience. So when Tower Fall is released, I can actually um, use this pack family if I wanted to. So all I have to do is basically loaf, um, enjoy my time with my pups and mate, and keep them fit, fed and safe for predators. Forever. And that's basically it. I hope you all have enjoyed, and um, if you have, please leave, the, leave a like and subscribe because I will be doing more of these, but on a much harder difficulty, and hopefully next time we will get... What was that? Hopefully next time we can start a new pack, essentially, and survive through it. I do hope next time that I can actually get through more of, um, more rendezvous sites. The reason I stayed here more than normal is because I have a lot of pups that need watching and because Dune keeps getting sick and then it turns into the fact that he, uh, oh boy. Anyway, Dune keeps getting sick. And along with that, Moth is now sick, so you could see how the uh, problems have occurred. And by the way, I may or may not have died to a grizzly earlier. Which is... Oh boy. Like, right now. Which is... Currently, um, why I uh, had to reload and save. Good thing y'all didn't see that, though. It was just embarrassing. 
Oh good grief, I'm gonna get myself killed. Like, I'm really low health. Wow, we uh, barely survived there. Anyway, if y'all have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I will make more content, this time on a higher difficulty. And I will see y'all next time.